and welcome to Geek Girl Con's Month of Nurturing. Today, we have Jessie here with us, and she is going to be demonstrating some nail art. Um, but first, we'll do some quick intros. I am Janae. I am part of the Twitch content team, um, and my pronouns are she, her, and um, I am wearing glasses, and I have a black um, sweatshirt on. And then I'll pass it over to Jessie. Hi, I'm Jessie. I am arts talent coordinator with our programming team. Uh, I am wearing blue headphones and a black shirt. Um, and I use she, her pronouns. And in the background is my son, Kimberly, my orange cat. And he's just taking a little snooze as I do my, as I demonstrate my favorite hobby to, which is nail art. Um, yeah. Yay. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay. Do you want to introduce what you'll be doing and like maybe mm -hmm. the supplies and then we'll go from there? Yeah, absolutely. So um, if you follow along, but you, if you can just get three nail polishes of different colors, that's all that if you can get that, if you can get a top, a quick drying top coat. Uh, is very important to keeping your manicure long same with the base coat. Uh, and if you want to do some of the nail art with us, uh, if you can get a, if you have any of these makeup sponges, uh, great for doing gradients, which are really neat and really easy to do. Or you could also have a toothpick, or if you have dotting tools, we're going to be making some flowers, which Spoiler alert, they're specifically going to be uh, silent princess flowers. <laughs> um, at least mine will be. They don't use yours don't have to be. So uh, if you have that, if you have some cotton ball acetone, that'll always help so that you can clean your nails as you go. Um, but yeah, I have an idea for uh, the Tears of Kingdom set. It's going to be pretty simple, but I don't know about you, but I have been playing um anytime I can I'm absolutely obsessed game of the year for sure so I had this idea like 10 minutes before I started it pans out as nice as it is in my head so so you can take anything I give you um, if you have supplies if you don't um, you can make your entire them flowers or all of them gradients whatever you want to do um or you can just pick some tricks uh because I have a lot of just gathered from you know this is basically my pandemic hobby that I was you know really <laughs> in depth with uh in 2020 so there's a lot that uh, I think folks who have given up on painting their nails like a base coat a base color um, they're like oh but I mess it up the next day but there's like a lot of you can do to make your manicure um, stay for a long time to yeah always have your nails looking really good I get compliments all the time and people you know can't believe that my nails are these are my natural nails and uh, you know like, take care of them and nurture your body and just you know just like a nice way to self-care it's one of my I it's so calming for me to just sit down, take care of my nails. I usually sit and do it and watch TV, and it, it does take me a long time uh, normally, uh, which I know a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't want to spend a lot of time on there, but if you're, uh, if you enjoy it and you have fun and you're, you know, it gets, gives you a chance to catch up on some TV, uh, it's been a really wonderful way for me to just calm down and slow down. So I just really recommend it if you just need a t some time to get out of your head. Yeah, for sure. Ooh. Oh my okay. gosh. Real quick, can you just mm -hmm. confirm that your mic is like plugged in all the way? Because sometimes you're mm -hmm. you're breaking up a tiny bit for me every oh, no. once in a while. Yeah. What's wrong with my computer it does that. Some oh no all of my with everything so I don't know if because I'm I'm on Bluetooth um, oh okay so 
it's just an issue I've been having with my We'll just talk really slow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you need to repeat a step. I can do that. I know I talk a lot. Um, but I did want to ask you, Janae, so what is your experience with nail art? Um, you were telling me earlier that your sister was better at it or, yeah, I was just curious. Yes. Um, so I, the, the most advanced thing that I have ever done is the single color accent nail. So yeah. we're talking extremely basic. Um, my sister taught me how to do polka dots. Um, and so I've done that once, I guess. Um, but I often don't paint my nails. Mostly I have a really bad habit of picking at them. So sure. if, I, if I do have nail polish on them, then it's a deterrent and I won't pick at my nails. Do it. Yeah, so. that's, a, that's, that's a hard one for sure. Cool. But yeah, I think we can make some, we can get some more advanced stuff in there for you. Should be really fun. Okay, yay. And, I'm gonna, and so I'm going to go, through, like, I'm sure that, especially for chat too, that like, there's going to be some stuff in here that I'm sure you know, um, but uh, I'm just going to kind of go through it as if you've never even heard of nail polish before, just so, um, I don't know, everybody kind of, you know, we're starting from the same place. So the very okay. first thing I, yeah, um, so the first thing we do is, um, do my manicure. So the, I'm not going to do that on screen. I've already done it. Basically, that's where you know you would take your, or you know you would push your cuticles back, uh, and you would, you know, clip them. Like if you've ever gotten gone to the nail salon, they bust one of these out on you. And for me, mm -hmm. they've always make made me bleed. I have I now have a system where like I know my own body and I don't bleed. So. Um, and so that way I get rid of my, my cuticles and I grab some like lemony fluff, just like some oh. lotion or something to dry the cuticles to, uh, you know, make your skin a little bit more, a little more, um, moisturized and because it's, those area tends to get really dry. So, uh, yeah, I always put some of that on. I shake them. My nails are kind of short right now for me. So um, I I shake them with like a glass. Uh, these guys last a really long time and a lot less uh, rough nail. So um, and then for okay. do you your what nails shape do you prefer mm -hmm. your nails to be? Yeah, like so, around. Yeah, it's really great shapes. I've done maintain is kind of I do kind of a a squoval I think is what it's called squoval it's like combination square oval so I try to have like a sh like a a soft uh, to them and but it's mostly straight up so it's it's a square shape but it's the corners are soft um and I just find that easier to maintain because uh, all you have to do back and forth and you don't have to do much shaping and then I just kind of curve in that it's not they're not sharp mm -hmm. <laughs> I, that I don't like but um I've definitely done try to do kind of you can um file inwards to a point for sure I've done that three words for you three, kind of circular three, so. as well but I, the squirrel is kind of my faithful um that and I just think it's this looks nice, classic. It's probably not the most in vogue right now, but yeah, it's definitely the easiest. I think the coffin shape right now is what people really, or not coffin, um, that's what it's called. So like, um, really sharp to a point is what's really in vogue right now. Um, but mm -hmm. it's, that's just harder to maintain personally. Um, so, but yeah, yeah, Squirrel is my favorite and it's probably the easiest. Um, and yeah, so that's normally what I do. Uh, you might also notice that uh, I have a little bit of a yellow tint to my nails, and that's because I wear a lot of nail polish. 
And so nail polish will stain your nails if you wear it a lot, like I do. Like I, this is weird for me having naked nails. Um, I'm always wearing nail polish. So uh, even with a base coat, which I always wear, you'll probably get some staining if you, but I, it doesn't matter to me because I'm just gonna cover it up anyway. But if you do notice a little bit of an, uh, a, a yellow tint there, that's because uh, it's stained and I'm fine. I'm <laughs> not, uh, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with me in that. Cause I know some people have that, um, what's the word? Like concern. Oh, so yeah. just, just, um, just another little tip. But um, so with that being said, I think we can actually start putting product on our nails. Uh, so yay. the first thing, yay, the first thing you want to do is get a base coat. Now, if you, I have had a lot of people tell me that, oh, well, I, my nails, you know, they never last. Like it's, it's, I, it's two days later and I'm, things are already chipping. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons why that might happen. And there's a lot of ways that I can take you step by step on how to keep your manicure for as long as possible. And some of it's behavior things like, you know, when you go to open cat food, the can of cat food, mm -hmm. use a spoon, don't use your nails, like don't oh, use your nails as yeah. tools. <laughs> so yeah. um, <laughs> that helps keep your nails intact. Um, and there's a lot of things you can do when you first do your mani that will keep it for a long time, in my opinion. Um, I can go two weeks without it getting chipped with just wow. regular nail polish. Yeah, wow. no, I, and I'm not uh, particularly good. Like you'll see, like once we get going, I'm going to make lots of messes. I'm going to make mistakes um, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but it, there's just like little tips that really can help you make your manicure last a long time and, you know, make it feel like you, you, you know, you're getting that bang for your buck. Um, mm. so, and one of those things is a base coat, a good base coat. My favorite is OPI. Um, there's some that are long lasting. There's some that are smoothing. Uh, but this gives your, this gives your nail polish something to stick to. That's not your regular nail. Uh, so it makes it last longer and it protects your nails. It will smooth your nail. So that way when you're putting on product, it goes on smooth. So this is an essential, if the only thing you do for your nails is have three products, that's totally fine. And that's um, a base coat, your color, and then a fast drying top coat. It, you you have to have these three. And like you can make, have a really long lasting Mandy as long as you have these three things and that's it. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get started. So um, if you have okay. a base coat, you can just open that bad boy up. Oh, you probably should give it a little shake to, you know, I don't know why we shake it. I know why we shake it for nail polish. So base coat is like essentially like a primer mm -hmm. for your nails. Oh yeah, primer exactly. Your just like painting is a... Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. That's a great way of putting it. Um, so, okay, I know my thumb, I always put my thumb on the edge, so I know I'm like way at the top of the screen there. Um, but yeah, so some techniques for when you're putting on your nail polish, this is gonna be hard. I'm just realizing I don't talk a lot while I do this. Um, but start at the- very difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah, so you wanna start at the back of the nail. Um, and go up. So try and really get as close to your cuticle as possible. If you get okay. on your finger, don't worry about it. Like let yourself be free. Um, <laughs> you know, like the base coat isn't the hard part when it comes to that. But um, yeah, start from the back, go forward, and don't over over swipe uh, because that'll can kind of mess up the the foundation that you've made. So yeah, just kind of trust yourself. Like I would say, you want to stick to like. For me, since I have pretty small hands, I stick to like three swipes and that's pretty much all I need. Do you start a, from coat. the middle of the nail and then kind of go to one side and then the other side? Yeah. Or do you have to right or right to left? I think, um, I don't know if it, if it, if it 
quite matters, but I know for me, I, I do start in the middle at the very back of my cuticle and then I go on the right side and then I go on the left side oh, okay. uh, and then okay. I might go back in the middle one more time to kind of seal it. So, um, and you might get like little cat hairs, <laughs> now and then, which I don't have my, I should have brought my tweezers. That's fine. <laughs> um but yeah so that's the first coat the first thing you want to do across any any nail art you do and if there's any questions in the chat just let me know and I'm happy to answer okay Apocalypse says that she usually uses her top coat as a base and she's guessing that is not recommended. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually not the worst thing you could do or anything. Um, they're very similar ingredients uh, from what I understand. So it's not, um, I would say, I would do that in a pinch, but okay. it's, you would, I think, have a longer lasting Manny if you got a product that was specifically made for long lasting or smoothing um, base coat. But uh, it's definitely better than better than nothing, for sure. Okay, good to know. And Latina yeah. Geek says, shout out to my fellow lefties. She is so bad at, <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at doing my right side. I get it. Yeah, so, oh my gosh. Yeah. Wait, left side? Yeah, because I have the a hard opposite time hand. Right side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, I I have found and I, I I mean you can probably even see me now, like I have a really shaky hands. Um but it's weird, like you really do start to get better at it as you go. Um and I, you know, notoriously have not great fine motor skills. Um like I have the worst handwriting you'll ever see. So um, yeah, there's there's hope for you for for if you have uh, a hard time with your painting your dominant hand, um, it gets better. Don't That's lose hope. <laughs> yeah, it's just practice. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's just okay. practice. And and um, as you'll see later, um, don't worry about mistakes like don't worry about getting it on your cuticles because oh. we can you can clean those up um and that was the that's that's the thing that made my manicures a thousand times better was when I figured out I can there's you can get a brush and you can clean off your cuticles um and that uh that just makes them look like professional and nice and <laughs> yeah I love so go ahead get get messy you can clean it up it's fine um that's good life advice too yeah oh my gosh so true <laughs> we're nourishing our souls here not just our not just our nails yeah. um <laughs> wait so, says she also yeah. has an issue with her nails getting really dry and peely when wearing polish is there okay. base coats for that I think there is um, I have other friends who have had that issue. I personally don't, but I do know that there is, um, it, yeah, it, there's also like, it could be, you know, the way that you're taking off the nail polish. Like you really want to make sure that you're getting a hundred percent acetone. Other, other acetone, um, they, you know, they have other ingredients and stuff and they might not be as harsh, but if you're like, I don't know if you're like picking off the polish, um, but you, so you never want to pick off the polish if you can, just because like your nail bed will, um, you know, that, that'll help bring up the nail. Uh, so if you can avoid that, you want to, um, but I do think they, there are base coats that are really good for protection. And so I think that if you have like, um, I can, I can do some research and see if there's a brand that does one like that and I can get back to you. But um, I would definitely try using 
specifically a base coat because maybe the top coat might be, I believe they're a little bit more harsh chemical wise. So that oh. might also be contributing. Um, Alyssa, if you are, uh, that might also contribute to it. But it's hard to say because I think some people just end up having that issue. But yeah. Try it out, Alyssa. Yeah, yeah. Do some do some experimenting because it's definitely one of those things where like you start to figure out what you uh, works best for you. Um, how are you doing, Janae? Are you? I'm good. Are we we're all good. done? All good. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go on to color, which is so exciting. Yay. So I'm going to. So we're gonna do something super simple just to begin with, and you could stop here if you wanted to, like the for this. Well, you want to at least do two coats, but. Um, if this is all you want to do as far as like, you know, a, a nail look, that's fine. Um, but I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all my nails white, except for my ring finger. Um, my ring finger, I'm going to go with this pretty seafoam green color. Um, but, and, uh, we'll, we'll get to the actual nail art part. We're just kind of doing the base stuff now. Um, but you'll kind of see why I'm wanting to do, uh, this color different and this is just like a great way to do an easy nail look like um something you could even do is like you could paint all your nails one color and then add a top coat to your accent nail so this is like mm -hmm. I have some gold flakies here and uh that's you know it's just like a little pop of of shimmer on one nail but it's still clean and simple which you know is also just a great look as well so that's just another little way that you can make your Manny pop for you. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna grab this white, which notoriously I have an issue with this white. <laughs> um, and then just uh, for brands, I'm not sure if anyone uh, cares, but I have all of my stuff is either Hollow Taco or Mannyology. Uh, and so I recommend those brands for pretty much everything. Um, really great. If you know Hollow Taco, it's Christine. Uh, simply Nellological, who is a YouTuber. Um, yeah, she's really funny and has a lot of great. I've everything I've learned, I've learned for her. I'm, you know, standing on the shoulders of giants. So, uh, super recommend that channel if you want to learn more about nail art. And simply Nellological is is the place to go. So I'm also going to bust out my little correction brush, uh, and. To, I'm a real influencer now. I'm doing the the makeup <laughs> hand. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's working, but uh, yeah. So it's just like a little, it's a little brush. I mean, you could even use like a paint brush that's, you know, this small. Oh, mm -hmm. And so this is how we'll go in and we'll make your edges look really nice. So we'll just start. And I, you want to do this, you'll do this as we go. So we'll see how well I do. I usually do really well on my, um, left hand, but my right hand is, oh, there we go. What was the other brand that you mentioned? The not hollow taco, but the other one? Um, Maniology, which is, they're the ones oh, who, okay. uh, are great for stamping, which stamping will, okay. that's kind of our advanced lesson <laughs> near the end, but okay. yeah, Maniology is great. Um, if you want to support a native Hawaiian run business, um, super recommend them. Uh, so for, for your color, you're going to do the exact same thing as a base coat. You start from okay. the bottom um, and then try not to glob it on too much. That's um, mostly the issues that I have. I tend to glob them on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, cause you can go, go with less, less is more. Okay. Um, and then you can always build. Yeah. I think that's, I'm like impatient that I just want to get it done in one swipe. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah, like take, here. Yeah. That, take your sure. time. Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. And you know what? If you think of it as like, because this is what I do with it is like, this is me time. It's like a craft. That's what I try mm -hmm. and think of like mm -hmm. nail art is just like a little craft that I get to wear on my hand for a week. Um, so yeah, slow down, breathe. Like, I just find it very comforting, like the just doing my nails. It's like, 
ASMR yeah. to me. Yeah. So yeah, give your don't don't put on too much at first. Start from the back. And here is another. Oop, that wasn't enough. Um, another little tip to make your mani last is after you put on your coat and you'll do this for every coat you swipe the tip just a little bit and that oh. seals in yeah so it seals in the manicure so that really it is the number one thing that has kept my nails from chipping it so you kind of I don't know if you probably can't see it it's I don't have a good enough camera um to really show the details but underneath my nail you can kind of see I've got like a little bit of a Gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't have a very good webcam, but it's a little bit of a tip um, mm -hmm. on the inside. And so it's like you're wrapping it around so that way when things bump into it, when inevitably when you're going about your day, um, yeah. it's not oh. it's not getting underneath the nail and chipping it up. Um, oh, okay. And so doing just like that little thing at the end of your coats it's going to keep your mani longer. And you especially want to do it with your top coat, um, which I will remind you. And so I I didn't do too bad here with this nail, but I'm going to go in anyway. I have like a little bit of, um, here's some acetone right here. So I'm going to go in and just take my little brush and just clean it up and, you know, get it on my, I have a, I have a lovely little mat here that I can just, Put all my all my waist on, and so, and I this is that was it, a very tiny mistake. Is it like a silicone silicone mat, or what's the material of this mat? I think so. It is. It's like rubbery. I would have to okay. look that up. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but good question. But yeah, it's like a rubbery mat, and I have one. Hollow Talk who sells them. Maniology sells them. If you just like look up nail art mat, it's something that obviously can stand up to acetone. Um, and so that you can clean off easily because acetone will burn through a lot of stuff. And that's why you always want to have oh, something yeah. down on, yeah, like you always want to have something down to protect. Like if you're on, oh, if you have a wood surface, it'll ruin the varnish on the wood. Um, so definitely always put something down when you're doing your nails and you're working with acetone um yeah, yeah. and alumnia says if you have short nails like me you'll probably need mm -hmm. a clean up swipe of extra polish when you wrap the tip yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah, i am experiencing that right now <laughs> yeah yeah and then that's what you got your little brush and you got or you got q-tips if you want Q-tips are a little easier. Um, personal, uh, for other people, uh, when you're first starting out, because the you have to be really precise with the brush sometimes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. See, all right, I already messed up. Um, I, I, I did the do... same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, That's talking. okay. I was like, oh, yeah, just keep going. I know. See, this is, this is my problem, because I have ADHD, and... I'm doing two things at once, so. But what I'm gonna do is, this is perfect though. Um, I'm gonna grab, I have this little tool from Maniology that just like grabs the, um, the my cotton swab and I'm just gonna take my acetone and clean it up. Uh, and I'll come back for this finger because I've got to put a base coat back on it. That's fine. We're, we're, we're Bob Rossing it. Just a little happy accident. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, because I wanted to make that that green. Um, so I'll come back for that once my, once this, where's my, oh, there it is. Once my base coat is dry. have to also clean up <laughs> no worries we can take it slow this is not about this is not a race 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So have you tried gel polish? You know, I am so glad you brought that up because um, I have tried it in a professional salon, but um, I've never tried it at home. But I have recently found out that uh, you really, really do not want to do anything like shellac or um, any sort of like putting acrylic. So gel or shellac or powder, you don't want to do that at home. Um, you want to, oh. if, you, if you like that kind of polish, go to a professional, don't do it at home because it is possible to get an acrylic allergy and acrylic allergies are incredibly dangerous and awful because like if you oh need to get a hip replacement you will be allergic to those hip replacements so um and I mean I haven't done a ton of research on that but and I always just use plain nail polish so but you know do your own research but I would say stay away from anything um that needs to be cured to do your nails um unless you go to a professional okay. so it's fine to do that you know like by the people who really know what they're doing but I just wouldn't do it at home oh, um wow okay yeah. good tip good to know yeah. I know I know I just found out about that and I was like oh god that's so scary oh, um yeah. oh my god yeah but in general I prefer I prefer nail polish because uh nail polish is easy to get off and mm -hmm. I find shellac and powder is very, very difficult. Um, you know, you really have to soak it. Uh, they, they, they won't damage your nails unless you take them, take it off incorrectly, um, which is easy to do. Um, but yeah, so nail polish for me, I, I enjoy because I will sometimes do. I usually, I used to do every every week I would do it and I still oh, sometimes wow. do that yeah yeah I would you know it was just like a night it was just like me time you know yeah um, and you know I'm a little bit busier right now so I have been kind of going for every two weeks um and my mani lasts I basically go for as long as like where I'm like oh my nails don't look nice and I need to change it <laughs> um so I think it's it's really nice to just be able to like sit down, take it off in like five minutes. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so, because trying to take off, I also don't like, cause like they have to like, you have to do so much to take it off. Um, and it, yeah. So it's not my yeah. favorite. Um, even though it, they look really great and I definitely get why other people get it. Cause it, they last so long. I've never gotten gel. I think my mm -hmm. my cousin has gotten gel accidentally. Oh and yeah. She, and she said never again. Really? Was it because of the the like the process How long it of took, taking it off? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. no. It does look great though. I do love how it looks. Oh, Fractal Rainbow asks about gel polish mm. um was it about breathing it like why not why don't we why don't you recommend doing it at I, home? is it about breathing or it's guessing I, like you can do it like working with resin like and use maybe a like respirator and ventilation you know I'm not exactly sure why I think it had to do with like I saw people having tips like about wearing gloves on the, the hand you weren't doing it on in the comments, but you know, I really just couldn't tell you with any sort of certainty, but I think it had to do with like the contact of the skin and things like that. Um, oh. So I don't think it was about necessarily, I don't think it was respiratory, but yeah, this was, I don't definitely don't take my word as gospel about it. Um, but that was definitely something I heard. So I will say again, you know, do your own research on it. Um, but if you want to just be careful, stick with nail polish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move on to my accent nail. 
this is like the best I was like oh I'm definitely going to mess up and like need to <laughs> clean up my nail as I go but this has been like I guess it's the pressure of being on camera <laughs> <laughs> so uh but we'll see we'll see how the second coat goes uh Oh, All right, Lumia says, gel's not for me because I'm lazy and hearing I need a separate lamp for it. I said, nope. Yep, yep. That's <laughs> <laughs> definitely how I feel. Okay, I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a mess there. Um, yeah, that's definitely how I feel. But I also am like, but you're taking so long to do your nails anyway, so what does it matter? <laughs> um, um, yeah. But I, that's okay. I'm, I, I would hate to take, to have like too long to take it off though. Yeah. That's Just the part. Throwing it off. Up too. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. How's it going, Janae? Are you, is it feeling good? The, the, yeah, it's just the non-dominant hand. It's still mm, a struggle. Yeah. <laughs> Always. For sure. I agree. And then, yeah, look, I mean, this is just one coat, and we'll definitely go in to make it, like, even, but isn't that just fun? Like, one little hint of color. Yeah. Um, I love yeah. white. I think white always looks really sassy um it looks so good i don't like already. the word sassy oh thank you um so yeah uh, and then we'll we'll even out the layers with um with another coat oh actually okay. i i forgot because i'm doing i'm doing a gradient i don't have to do a second coat oh um, yes. i don't have to do uh, yeah oh my gosh i can't believe i forgot that so um i will do a second coat on my green on my green ones and you're going to want to do one Janae because you you won't be able to do the gradient uh okay. but for your if you want to do a gradient which I will I'm going to show everybody um here in a minute uh you only have to do one coat and you want to do one coat of your lightest color um and so if you're curious about what a gradient is I will show you soon but basically it is you get as many colors as you want and you're going to have them uh, you will have them, you know, kind of like a sunset on your nail. Oh, uh, and it's ooh. actually so easy to do. Uh, and it's so fun and it makes your nails look great. It's such a cool little trick. So I chose these three colors, um, white, seafoam green, and this kind of baby blue, because that felt really Tears of the Kingdom-y to me. And so all of my white nails, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a gradient and I'm thinking now that we're talking um because normally you would do it uh, you could do it just up and down but I think I could also do it on a diagonal for some of my nails so that might be fun yeah so there's like all there's Whoa. all kinds of like <laughs> worlds opening up to us yeah so yeah. I'm just gonna let it just sit for a second um to, I don't know why I'm shaking my hands. This is not nor something I normally do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, try just for like a minute or two. Um, because since I'm going to be painting the, I did my ring fingers last. But is there, are there, is there any other questions in the chat right now? Um, no, everyone's Can excited for this gradient thing though. Oh, okay. I can't wait to show you. Yay. Yay. Well, yeah, okay. look, as I'm letting it dry, I can tell you a little bit about what we're going to end up doing. So you get yourself a, one of these makeup sponges. I get them, I get a huge box of them from Amazon for like, which, you know, I know that's not our favorite place to shop, but if need be, you can get them from Amazon for like less than $10. And a lot of, pretty much all of these nail supplies are fairly cheap to get on their own. Um, you know, uh, same with like the dotting tools. You can go on Amazon and get dotting tools for less than ten dollars, or or a um a cleanup brush. Like, uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Even though, like, sometimes I like to get 
you know, Hollow Taco is an indie brand and Maniology is an indie brand. So those places are a little bit more expensive. Um, but, mm-hmm. you know, I like I like to support indie brands. But for things like, you know, some tools like a dotting tool, you don't have to have um, incredible tools for that. And same with a gradient. A gradient is just a, you just need a little beauty sponge. And so what we'll do is we're going to paint like a line of each of the color and then um, we'll dab it to get rid of the excess and then we're going to dab it on our finger and I have some liquid latex as well so that I can make clean up a little bit easier which oh I forgot my my tweezers oh well that's fine Um, but uh, and so it'll leave a pattern and we'll do it twice to like really make the colors um, blend together And so we start with, so you always want to start with the lightest color on your, at the bottom of your gradient, because um, if you go with the dark one, it might not show up as well, like your lighter color. So if I were to have done this nail as like green, the white wouldn't have shown up as bright. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're going to head into. I think I'm probably in a good place to, I'm just going to do one little coat for my ring finger because the ring finger is where we're going to do our flowers. Yay. Yay. Um, and there's no particular rule for a second coat. Um, Paula Taco is a really great brand. So you can kind of see like it's, it's very, it goes on very pigmented even on a first coat. But I always like to do a second coat anyway, just because I think it makes the mani feel a little bit more full. But yeah, if you are noticing that you're getting, it's pretty streaky, um, it, there, it might be the brand. Oh, um, but, okay. Yeah. And um, but, do the, um, this, what did you call it? The ceiling um, swipe on the second coat as well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then do you recommend cleaning your nails or the um, little mess ups like as you go or kind of wait until the end? I say do it as you go. I used to do it at the end and it used to feel like a chore. Um, so now I do it every single time it happens um, Okay, as it happens because it's easier to clean up when it is wet, at least for your brush. It might mm-hmm. be easier to go in at the end with a q-tip though um a q-tip can be a little less precise and it can kind of mess up your um that's at least what I ended up doing is like I still would sometimes mess up my mani because um you know I wanted to get in there so it might be better to do it if you are using a q-tip to wait until the end but for a brush okay Okay, so I think, so I'm going to start with this li- liquid latex and, you know, you don't have to have this. You can also use just scotch tape around your nails. Um, ooh, I'm trying to open this. This is always the hardest to open um, without ruining my nails. Like, got to go call someone. Open this up for me. <laughs> I should have opened this before I started. I know this. I know this and yet I still... Help. Help. I know. I knew I was going to do that. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. So, my, there we go. I go back in. Eh, I could maybe cover it up. It's fine. Happy little accident. <laughs> so, yeah, I have yeah. this flexible uh-huh. latex. It can sometimes be um, a little bit of a, can be a little hard to use just because um, it dries so fast and that's like what it's meant to do. But, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so you don't need this. This is just some way, a way to make your cleanup a little easier on yourself. So what you do is you put it around your cuticle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have, okay. And, and so it'll it dry. Chips off. Oh, it's like glue? Yeah, so it's like, um, it's kind of like glue in that like um, this formula should pick up um so it it protects my it protects my skin 
so that my skin won't be messy when I do this um when I do this gradient mm -hmm. um and so because I do gradients a lot I have this liquid latex which again not necessary just a nice little thing to to help clean up because if you do it without it your 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 hand's gonna be all uh your your finger is going to be covered in nail paint um yeah <laughs> so <laughs> uh yeah so you basically you it takes a minute to dry and so I don't I don't do all 10 fingers at once um because it oh, can okay. end up if you're touching your fingers the liquid latex can get on it on each other and get gummy and it's a bad situation uh so I oh, just have okay, three okay. um and then once it's dry that's when I can go in and get my get my colors so I'll start with this finger just because it's the thumb I know is like all the way over here um, but so I'll start with my my pointer um and I think for this one I'm gonna go a little bit mm, hold on because I'm thinking now well okay we'll do we'll do straight lines for this right now and then we'll see how because I might have to get more I might have to get more sponges if I want to do different patterns um but anyway so you just do like a line across. So I'm doing this white right now. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay. There we go. And then and I just kind of keep these open as I'm doing my gradients because I am going to be coming in back in and using them so much. So, and then um, not on top of it, but like just underneath. And you can kind of, oh. you want, you do kind of want to layer them on top of each other, but not. Okay. But not yeah. too much of yeah. overlap. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you can ov overlap is the great, is the word I was looking for. So you can overlap them a little bit and you might, you you want it to saturate the sponge basically. Okay. Um, and you're just doing like one brush width. About, um, it, it'll depend yeah. on your, it'll also depend on your nail length. So, um, oh. mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes I kind of have to go back in and, you know, I'm definitely not perfect at this. And I, sometimes I have to go back in and, um, I don't know, dab on like one end because I didn't get the, <laughs> I didn't get my like nail length quite right. Um, but yeah, the idea is definitely to do about like a nail brush, brush worth length. Um, and then you want to just give one little dab on your surface to brush off the excess so it's not too much. And then you're oh. just going to go in and dab, 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 um, staying in place. Or not in place, but just, you know, you want to stay. Um, like you're not moving up and down. You're right. Right. Yeah. So you just want to keep it in the in a the the same color in the same area generally and so this didn't show up super great yet um yeah it looks like pretty it doesn't it's not super saturated so I'm gonna go in mm -hmm. and do another coat of this okay um I think I I think I probably needed to I think I kind of went light with the nail polish and yeah, that's something, sometimes what just kind of ends up happening is like, I have to adjust and figure out like, what's the, what's the formula like? Like sometimes with a particular color, like you really need to be judicious with it. And sometimes you need to be more liberal with it, um, mm -hmm. you know, depending. And I think these are, these are very light colors. So um, I think I might need to be, have more color. Have you tried, um, I've heard um, people using Vaseline instead of um, mm -hmm. like scotch tape or the, what did you call it? The liquid? Liquid latex? Liquid latex. Yeah. Yeah. I've never tried that, but I could see that totally working. Okay. Cool. Yeah. No, I love that. Yeah. So I think mm -hmm. these colors are very light. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's hard for the camera to touch to to pick up, unfortunately. So I'm sorry that I didn't pick it. up. Yeah. Um, I think you'll hopefully see it a little bit more. I think I'll do another round of it just to see because I think I didn't choose the hues that would show this off the best. But I think once we have the whole effect together, you'll be able to see it better. Um, so I'm going to go in with like a third coat of this. Just, just to try it out. But the the gradient is looking pretty good. It's it's pretty, pretty blended. So that's nice. Okay, so yeah, that's a little little better, but I think it's just hard to pick up on. I don't have the best lighting. Um, yeah, so what you'll want to do is you'll want tweezers. Let me see, maybe I can do it with. I'm very careful. Don't try this at home. But that's where I am. Oh no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you you this works a lot better with a tweezer, a set of tweezers. But it just yeah, heck yeah. Oh, it just kind of whoa. comes off. Yeah. Whoa, that's nifty. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. And so I got a little I got a little excited. So I'm still I'm still a little messy, but you know, not as bad as I could have been though. So I'm going to go back in right now and just clean up a little bit. And I'm also going to do some um, stamping on top of this. And so I find gradients look really great underneath other nail art as well. Um, because sometimes I think I often will not do <laughs> um, the gra a gradient in a way that I find uh, to be perfect, which you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but, um, but then once I put the stamp on it, I, it, it just, it's awesome. You know, I've done mm -hmm. before, like four different, like five different shades of blue. And then I put like a, a starry sky kind of. What? Yeah. Yeah. Like a, awesome. a stamp on it. And it was just so pretty. I think about that nail art all the time. Um, so like part of me is like, oh, I should recreate it. And uh, but that was really cool. So I, I love pairing gradients with nail with a uh, stamping. Do you, um, what do I, what's the word? Do you record all of your, um, all of the nail art that you've done? I take pictures. Um, okay. Yeah. I did try to just okay. like I was doing this little series on TikTok where I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do nail art based off of a book I read, um, Ooh. and then like have a review of the book, but <laughs> it's just a very time-consuming thing. I'm not a big fan of editing. Um, oh, yeah. but yeah, I I I do make sure to take pictures of. Well, all the ones I like, if I don't like it, I, if I <laughs> get to the end of it, I'm like, oh, that didn't turn out great. Um, which happens sometimes, uh, then I won't. <laughs> yeah. So when but, you're doing yeah. your nail art, like, how do you decide like what design you're going for? So mm -hmm. have you done ones based off of a book, like inspired by a book or? Yeah. Um, I think I've done like, Sometimes it'll just be like, oh, this is nail art I want to try. Like I've only ever done dotting once and I, because for, for this, and I wanted to learn it for the stream so I could show it to people. Um, and so I was like, oh, I want to do that. And um, I ended up doing it uh, like a month ago and I ended up really loving it. So all I did was have like, I think it was this blue, actually, I just had a blue base coat and I did, I had two flowers on each hand. 
and I just like loved how they turned out. So um, yeah, sometimes it's just like, oh, I want to try a new technique that I've mm-hmm. seen. Um, or there's something that I've read. Like I did a whole, uh, I did one for Legend Born, um, which is a great book uh, recently. Um, and then, you know, today I, I wanted to do something that was kind of Zelda inspired because, you know, it's, I think so many, I think a lot of us are in that place right now. I'm hoping uh, that I'm not the only one. And um, yeah, I'm just having such a good time with it. I love the colors. Uh, And so sometimes I even just like, will ask my friends, like, what, what color should I do? Um, What, like, what, Mm -hmm. what should I do? Like, um, I have so many stamp sets too, that like, um, Sometimes it's like, oh, I have this new stamp kit. I want to do something with it. Um, but yeah, it's really such a like mood thing for me. Um, and it's so it can be whatever I'm feeling in that in that day um, that I want to try and that I'm exciting about. And that's kind of what's so great about nail art is that it's it's so temporary. Oh yeah. But then you get to just like move on to the next thing. Like you don't have to worry about like, you know, like even if I do something that I'm like, eh, I didn't like this that much. It's like I can try again next week and just see where mm-hmm. I'm feeling next week. Uh and yeah, I just get to I get to be creative and I get to wear around some art that I made the whole week. It just makes me excited. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's I, I, a I, good I, conversation starter too. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I always, it is, it's always like a great day when someone's like, oh, I love your nails. I'm like, thanks. Yeah. I, I do myself. Um, <laughs> and you know, it's, yeah, I don't know. It just is like a cool thing. And I'm, you know, it's, it's like, I, I'm proud of it. Um, you know, you just like getting to do something, doing something creative and getting to express yourself in that way is really exciting to me. Okay, that shows up a lot better. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks super cool. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm looking at it. Let's see. Oh, Apocalypse does say she is also in that place. I think that was in reference to playing Tears of the Kingdom. (laughs) In your (laughs) ballad. And Emeraldo says that Legendborn is in my holds right now I'm gonna also add it to my holds oh my gosh you're gonna be waiting a while because I think it's very popular right now but it was very good I actually like the second book even more oh okay yeah so you have a lot of rare feet yeah yeah I feel like the cool thing about Legendborn is it reminded me of it it feels like it's kind of built on the YA from when I was actually a teenager, um, like it, it gave me, it was nostalgic for me. Like it felt like two early two thousands YA. Um, oh, okay. and that was just like, I think it's one of the reasons why it's done so well. It's like, it, it kind of plays into these tropes that were popular then. And I don't know, it just gave me that kind of nostalgia feel. Great. Yeah. So like, I read a lot of, um, like fantasy when I was a or like a teenager too and I haven't gone back to reading a lot of those books and I wonder how yeah enjoyment of them will would have changed because like I'm no longer like in that age group I know yeah. yeah that's so true I definitely want to go back and read a lot of the things I liked as a kid um that would be, yeah. Ooh, I think we're gonna see. Oh, oh bless you. Pardon. Oh, I can never sneeze once. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to go back and also read the books that I had to read in school to see mm. if, like, the reason. I wasn't a huge fan of them was because they were assigned and it was forced to read them or yeah. if they actually just weren't for, for me. <laughs> right. Totally. Well, I mean, I, 
I just read um The House on Mango Street uh for like the first oh. time since I would think it was in I think I we read it in middle school maybe and oh. I definitely enjoyed it so much more as an adult than I did as a kid um and yeah just really saw the beauty in it in a way that I definitely didn't as a as a youngin um so is that yeah. what's the synopsis of that one again I've heard the title I just can't yeah. remember if what I'm thinking it's about is what it actually is about well it's very it's it's less of like a plot oriented it's almost like a bunch of connected short stories okay. um about a young latine um girl living in I guess the like uh the less privileged side of town um and just kind of her day-to-day experiences and her life and the things that are important to her as like I think she's 12 ish um and like how her life yeah just like what how her life as a girl I think it, it had a lot to do with um girlhood was like a very strong theme of it and yeah it it really it really hit me um reading it as an adult yeah it's very very like short chapters you know like two or three page chapters I read the audiobook which is only two hours long and it was um the author read it and that was retreat oh yeah that's always really fun yeah, no, it was great. Also, just watching this is very calming. Oh, very is it? I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm glad it's not. But yeah, it does feel like I love, I also love like watching people do their nails. It's so, I don't know. It's like, it's like visual ASMR in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like hypnotic. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad it's not super boring. This is very toothpastey right now, and I, I'm not mad about it. Did I? Oh, I took off the thing. I'm an idiot. <laughs> 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 I already took off my thing, but I wanted to go in for another. Oh well, we're clean up, clean up, <laughs> everybody, clean yeah. up. Um, but yeah. So obviously, uh, you don't need the liquid latex. You could just go without. Clearly. um but I will take a little break from I'll do one more gradient here on my pinky but then we can go into flowers oh okay yeah let me let me do my other hand or the double the second coat I got just so distracted (laughs) oh I for sure yeah go ahead and Get that in. I feel like the second coat on the non-dominant hand is like an extra challenge. I don't know why that is, but the second coat for me is also always harder, and I don't know why. I feel like maybe it's because I'm trying not to mess up the polish on my mm. hand um oh, because it yeah, might still be wet yeah. right that's smart yeah okay oh I'm excited okay it's looking sassy looking fun sassy mm-hmm. oh I forgot I need to put on Kingsley Cam. Kingsley Cam. Kingsley. <laughs> My dog is hanging out right next to me. Okay, now Aww. he's comfortable. How old is Kingsley? He's 11. 11? Oh my gosh. Just turned 11 in March. Did you throw him a birthday party? 
<laughs> yes, always. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. It's mostly just like giving him lots of extra treats because that's his favorite thing mm. in the world is food. Mm -hmm. Food and then sleeping and then maybe me is fighting for third. Yeah, my dog is <laughs> also highly motivated by food mm -hmm. and sleeping. And sleeping, you know, I just feel like they got it all figured out, and I appreciate that. They really that. do. I I'm pretty it. jealous. I, was like, <laughs> I wish I could just eat and sleep all day. Yeah, but you know With what? Zero cares. <laughs> you know what, though? No opposable thumbs, so that means no Zelda. And no and nail art. No nail art. Yeah. Dang. So, I don't know. Really missing out, Kingsley. I know. <laughs> he says, me, 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 me. Rock, me, me, me. <laughs> Yeah, I decided to just go s straight up and down with it. But you can do, like, fun diagonals. Um, I did, like, a fun rainbow one when I first got these pastels um, that I'm using, um, which I have like a rainbow assortment of these pastels um, from Holo Taco. And so you can, and I did that on a diagonal and that was really fun and pretty. So you definitely can mix it up with this. It doesn't have to just be the straight up and down what I'm doing, but I think that'll come off nicer in the end for the full effect. okay yeah I don't know why it's just like that my pointer finger was the one that just really wasn't wanting to pick up for some reason Ooh. that liquid latex is so it's, it's also it's... like so satisfying right yeah <laughs> it's so oh. good and so this is let me see what brand is this this is from Twinkle Tea, and it is my absolute favorite. Twinkle Tea and Hollow Hot Taco has a good one. Some of them don't okay. have good ones that like really you can pull off in one swift swoat, uh, swift stroke. There it is. Um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah not, not all created equal, for sure. But it is great. Um, really, really helps with cleanup and is just kind of a pleasure to, to take off oops okay so that is one look I'm so sad that you can't see it great but it, it is it in real life it looks nicer <laughs> if I it's coming get, through a little bit yeah oh, maybe if I get the the light up higher I don't know but it looks it looks nice uh you just gotta trust me bro yeah <laughs> <laughs> um got a little oh well that's fine um but yeah no, so it's send us a picture later <laughs> that'll that'll be the difference for sure <laughs> um yeah, I just have terrible lighting in this room, unfortunately. So, um, next step we're going to do, are you done with your second coat or how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, great. Can I see? Oh, yeah. They are just <gasps> pretty. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I love the color. I went with um, Ariel inspired color. <gasps> oh, they will be coming out on Friday. That's yeah. totally what it reminds me of. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see it. I love it. It's so pretty. Um, okay, yeah. So let's do some. You know, before I, I'm going to put on. Hmm, what do I want to do? Before, before we do that, I'm going to do one quick top coat of. So this is Maniology has like a nope, not this one, a sticky base coat, and so this is going to be for my stamp. So I'm just going to put that real quick on this hand. Um, I'll do my other hand later. But on this hand, 
I'm just going to put that, that base coat on real fast. So that way, once I finish, once we finish with the flowers, we can go right into some stamping, which is so fun. And what's great about this and coat is, is like, this, mm -hmm. oh, is this the same base coat that you used at the beginning? Nope. No, no, no. Um, so oh. this is a very particular coat and this is, this is for like, if you want to get a little advanced and you know, if you're really like want to invest in doing nail art, definitely not something you have to do um, for your gradients at all. Like you could stop here and just put on your mass drying top coat. This is a very special um, top coat from Maniology that will um, help you, it the will help your stamp stick for you. Um, oh, okay. And, and, you know, you can, the process of stamping is very quick. Um, it's a very fast paced little kind of art that you have to do quickly. And it's one step that doesn't have to, because you have a sticky base coat, you can slow down at a certain point because it, your, your stamp is still going to show up, which this is going to make a lot more sense when I show you what I mean. But uh, if you are interested in stamping, you would want to use this base coat because it really, or not a base coat, but top coat. It, it's it's a oh, really okay. handy little tool. Okay. Um, but yeah, so again, this is like, because I am, you know, it's silly and really love this. <laughs> Definitely not something I think you need to go out and do. You don't have to do this if you want to do some nail art. Um, but okay, so that's done. So, um, for flowers, um, the, the best way to do it is to use a dotting tool, but we can use it with a pig toothpick. What's good to know about the toothpick though is because the end is so tiny, um, you're gonna have tiny flowers, but that's okay. You can have multiple flowers, but they're gonna show up tiny. So I have one here that has kind of like a bigger end. Um, and so like my flowers okay. are gonna be like a little, little bigger. So my plan okay. is to do some some uh, silent princesses here. So um, I I'm going to kind of try and do some layering, and we'll see how it goes. I haven't tried this out, so I also have a tiny one that's going to be hopefully kind of similar to like a toothpick size. So the idea is that I'm going to do big white ones and then like little blue ones with a yellow center, so that it gives the uh, you know makes us feel like a silent princess flower. So there are different ways to do this. What you could do to get some, to get this on your dotting tool or on your uh, toothpick is, you know, you could, you could lay some out on your, on like a, on your pad, um, on some, what's it called? Like a yogurt lid and mm, dip it in. Okay. Uh, and so I do it in fives. And I just do one dot. Um, okay. Gosh, I'm so sorry like, that my camera doesn't pick this up well. Oh, I think I see Oops. it. Yeah. yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, I wonder if it shows up better on this camera. Oh, it does. Wow. Uh, oh, so okay. I just did one dot. Um, mm -hmm. And so you're going to want to go back in for each dot. Uh, or it's not gonna, um, you're not gonna have enough pigment. Um, what I usually actually do, and I don't think most people do this, this is just what I found worked for me, was I actually just use the brush to get the top of it. Oh. Um, which you don't have to do that. You can do, you can dab it in, but I just felt like it, it just worked better for me. And so you don't want too much product and you don't want too little product, which is hard. Obviously, and so I'm uh, going in a very this delicate balance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm going in on this corner, and oh, see that wasn't like enough. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, and just kind of going in and pressing, pressing in, pressing lightly, so that it doesn't. Um, so that you're not messing up the mani at the bottom you know, your, your bottom coats. Um, oh yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, and you know what? This is something I for- forgot to mention is that it's it's a good idea to to clean this in between too. And I can you can just do that with like this your your brush. And so I know you have you have so it's different because you have um toothpicks, so I think you should be fine. But for a dotting tool, you'd wanna just kind of clean it up as you go, because that's why I saw a little bit of a mess up there. And I'm realizing now I should you should start out with your center. Um and so this is like only my second time doing this. Um, so I, I'm not super familiar with this technique. Um, I haven't done it as much as I've done like gradients and stuff, but um, I'm gonna go in first now with my yellow and I'm gonna put that at the center so that I can, it'll anchor it for me for the placement oh, of the okay. petals and that's, I kind of went gung ho there for a little sec for a second. Um, but so I have that. So I'm going to go, each of my petals is going to go around um, that okay. dot, and I'm going to do five. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just going to dip it into my acetone over here and into my sponge. Waste not, want not. Um, I'm going to do another yellow because I want to do two. Two flowers, two silent princesses. Okay. I can see why the having a dotting tool would be much more helpful than a toothpick. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you can get it done. You can still do it. Um, but the dotting tools yeah. definitely help. Yeah, right now my flower just looks like a little blob. <laughs> oh, no. No, that's, that's okay. okay. <laughs> It'll just be an abstract flower or an yeah. incomplete circle. <laughs> that's definitely how my first ones looked. I won't lie to you. Yeah. This is just this practicing. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of planning on doing my nails again right after this, but I'm getting kind of excited, so I think I like them. Yeah, I like definitely smeared one of my nails. Oh, no. I was trying to, like, uncap a pen and write stuff down. Oh. And I was too impatient. That's okay. We can fix oh. it, though. We can fix it. Yeah. Also remember to breathe. I frequently forget to oh, breathe yeah. when I'm doing my nails. Um, because you know, you're like, oh, I don't wanna you're holding your breath, hoping not to mess it up. But yeah, remember to breathe. Yeah, Emeraldo says doing my nails is great at forcing me to be still and not task. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so true. That's absolutely what I found like it's go ahead yeah oh I was just saying the most I could multitask was like maybe listening to a podcast or something mm -hmm. I feel like even if I was trying to watch tv I would get too distracted yeah I think I I kind of tend to like when I watch tv or a podcast or an audiobook I need to be doing something with my hands or otherwise I can't really pay attention oh um, okay yeah, and that's just, you know, me being kind of a, you know, just having ADHD. Um, so for me, I feel like I'm 
absorbing, even if I'm not always getting the, the, the visual of it, I'm absorbing what's mm-hmm. happening better because I'm doing something. And, you know, sometimes I just stop what I'm doing and, and watch what's happening. And then I go back, you know, like I, it really yeah. is me time. So, yeah. Okay. Let me hold this up uh, a little better and you can kind of see. Maybe if I take out the light. Um, we've got little flowers going on. Oh, and yay! Yeah! So I'm gonna let them dry, and then I'm gonna go in later with the blue to hopefully give us that, like, silent pr- princess illusion. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll take off the light when I want to show you my nails. <laughs> That's the way to go. Okay. So those are kind of, that's the techniques. Um, so I can go back in now and um, do some some nail art. So what I was planning on doing, so because we're doing um, Zelda, I had the idea of, I have this stamp that has this cute little pixelated heart, which, you know, hard to see, but it's very Zelda to me. Um, I really like it. So that's, there's a little heart and it's an empty heart, but I also have this cute little pixelated heart here that also feels very Zelda, but it's like a full heart. So I think I'm going to do that on all of my, so I think the, the big heart will go on my thumb and then the little hearts will go on, um, my pointer, my middle finger and my pinky in the corner. Um, that's what I'm thinking. And so I was going for, so I think I'm going to do just red with them. I was thinking of doing like, I have a gold because I feel like Tears of the Kingdom gold is like a very, very much the color. Um, but yeah. I'm do that with, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Like chat, let me know what you want. If you'd rather me do gold than rather than red. Um, I was also thinking of using this as a top coat for like the whole thing. Um, just because I think gold is very Zelda-y. Um, especially with Tears of the Kingdom, that feels like the color scheme. And it would go nice with this like minty, minty pastels that I'm going for. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Um, so stamping is a way to get something really precise and really, uh, you know, you can get funky patterns onto your nails. It's like a really great way to, you know, if you've ever seen someone with little designs on their nails you can do this do this instead of like you know it's not freehand it's basically Mm -hmm. uh, a stamp that you pick up with a rubber stamp and it'll be easier if I kind of show you the process of it um so we'll start off with that what you do first and let me just okay and our side right now our options for colors was red or gold right that's what we're yeah yeah so Yeah, Red or I could also color. add this. Yeah, how are we feeling? Do we want to go? So these are my two okay, stamping one. colors that I kind of picked out for you. Okay. Okay. All right now, Apocalypse says red is so iconic, but gold would look so good with those colors. So Yeah. I know. What do we do? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning gold. You're kind of leaning gold? Okay, yeah, let's do it. I think it'll look really great. Um, So there's also like little, I wish they were, they were rupees, but they're basically like coins from, from Mario, but we're not going to do Mario. We're doing Zelda. Not today, Mario. Yeah, not today, Um, Mario. Not today. (laughs) Not today. Um, Okay, so you take your, so when you're stamping you want to get a particular you want to get stamping polishes which is again this is why I've said like this is kind of when you really like doing nail art and you're invested in doing it and you want to like up your game because you start it starts to be a little bit more of an investment right so nail stamping polishes um you kind of want to go you want to make sure you're using normal stamping stamping polishes instead of normal nail polish because they just, you can use normal nail polish, but it just doesn't pick up as well. And um, as you'll see, picking up is essential to getting that, mm-hmm. that pattern on your on your nail. Um, and it is very cool. I, I do it almost every week is, this is 
this is like what I do for my nail art and why I have so many like this is only half of my collection uh of, of I also have another book here I have a ton this is like my favorite thing to do yeah. this isn't all even all of them um but yeah so it's it's more of an investment for sure uh but really fun and just, so I just want to show you um how to do it and like how exciting it can kind of make your nails so you want to take your stamping polish and you put a little bit over your design and you want to do all of this very quickly as much as you can so I it might take a couple times because I have to do this quickly and I don't have everything prepared. You wanna have everything prepared. So you roll the stamp over. You roll the stamp over um, the design after you've scraped it. Let's get it right in the middle uh, if we can. So I don't know if Whoa. you saw, and let me, here I can hold it up better. This is, I don't know if that's easier to see. I that guess, was fun. I think um, the, the top down was good. I can see. Yeah. It. Oh, okay. You can see it better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Better. Yeah. So, um, sorry, it's a little hard to do it because you have to go so rapidly. Uh, um, so what you're doing, what, what I was, what I just did was I put on some, some nail polish on the stamp and then I took the, uh, the little scraper that will normally come with your rubber stamp, scraped it. And so then it, uh, left it so that the, the nail polish is basically even with the, the stamping plate. Right. And then you go in with your little stamping. So it's like a little rubber. You never want to get acetone on this or you'll ruin it. And then you basically kind of, there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a, you know, how, see how it's kind of spherical. So you oh, kind yeah. of roll it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you roll it on top and then you pick it up and you have to do this very fast or um, the, the, the nail polish will dry on here and so it won't pick up. So you, that's why it's like such a rapid thing. Um, so you pick it up and that's why I have the sticky base coat. So when I'm placing the stamp, I can really look and get it right because I don't have to do that part as rapidly. Um, and that's what the, 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 the benefit of the sticky base coat. Um, but yeah, so that's how, and then, you know, I've got like a little perfect heart on there, which when you kind of compare it to my flowers, which are hand done, um, I'm so sorry about like how bad it is at focusing. Focus, focus. But yeah, you know, like those are a little bit sloppier compared to the pretty, stamp um but so I'm just a huge fan of stamping and I just think it looks so nice um and so once you get your first one done um I need tape where's my tape I'm gonna How I have to have tape unfortunately be right back <laughs> pause everybody ask questions I'm just like mind blown at how this stamping thing works <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, how many, how, with one stamp or like this one coat of polish on the, mm -hmm. on the stamp, how many stamps can you get out of it? How many times can you use that one coat of polish? Oh, one time. So like, oh, okay. what, do, what do you mean? Like when I put it down? Mm -hmm. So then you put yeah. it down oh. and then it was like one nail and then you have to like put down, put down another coat and then that, that's for the next nail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have to, you're going to have to, every single time you have to clean, which, so this is why it takes me a long time to do my nails. Like it doesn't take me just 30 minutes to do them is because in between every single time you do a stamp, and, you know, I've gotten a little speedier at this as I've gone on. I go in with my little tool um, that picks up a cotton swab and I just clean it and I have to clean, I have to clean my thing, which is why I needed um, tape because that's how you pull up excess stuff from your rubber stamp is tape, um, scotch tape. <clears throat> and I have to clean my 
my little scraper as well. So, but now that that's done, I'm ready to go back in and do another one, but uh, that my thumb isn't ready for that. So we're gonna switch out plates. I'm gonna go over here and use this like little, little heart. And I think I'm just gonna do it in the corner because I've done that before with parts and it just like looked really nice. Um, so let's see here. And with these little designs, I kind of end up just putting it over the whole thing, but you don't need to do that for bigger designs. Okay, so I picked up some other additional stuff on this stamp. So because I did that, <clears throat> I'm going to go in with stamp and just like remove the excess so it doesn't get on my nail. Uh, and then I'm just going to very carefully go in and press it down. Kind of want to roll it off. Do you want to roll it off on the same direction that you rolled it on? I don't think it matters too much. I think you just don't want to go bop, bop. Like you don't. Oh, okay. You don't want to. You just like kind a, of like a rubber stamp, right? Yeah, you just kind of want to make sure that it's fully on, basically. Mm -hmm. um, that you know, and you're not tearing off that that heart, basically. Okay. Um, that that uh that that polish there. Gosh. Okay. Nice. And then, what were what was the difference between regular polish and stamping polish again? <laughs> well, there's um basically stamping normal nail polish dries, I think, even faster. I think that's what the it ends up being the issue is that nail normal nail polish dries so fast that it um you can't pick it up fast enough. At least that was my oh. issue. I, I felt like I felt like I just could not do like the only way I could get it to work was using stamping polish. And so stamping polish is just specifically designed to be picked up. And so you can use regular nail, uh, nail polish, but I think it's just much harder. And I've personally never gotten it to work, um, but I haven't tried a lot. I, I have stamping is like one of my favorite things. So I've, you know, just really gone in and full in on, <laughs> on it. Really? The scraping part is like my favorite part. Cause I feel really? like to like a flourish with it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it does feel really good. Now that you say it, got a little bit of a, didn't do my I didn't do a great job um scraping it though because I had some leftover stuff there so we're gonna redo it oh and then Emeraldo wants to know what are your recommendations for stamping polish maniology yeah okay yeah um so uh, I love maniology um one thing about them is that I do wish they're great my favorite thing about their stuff is their stamping plates they have great stamping plates great uh rubber rubber stamps sometimes i wish that they had their stamping polishes were more pigmented because if i were to do this red on black it doesn't show up very well um so i will say that like sometimes they they work best on lighter colors uh usually um but twinkle t also has really nice stamping polishes um i'm trying to think if i know anybody else who does just doing some cleanup um yeah, I think Twinkled T, and it's just Twinkled, the letter T, has stamping polishes. Um, it's kind of a small market. There's not a ton of people who do it. But Maniology, I think, is like, that is their brand, is that they do stamps. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. I think um, MoU London, so M-O-Y-O-U London, also does stamping stuff, but I haven't tried their polishes before. Yeah. So, but Maniology is definitely my fave for all things stamping. And again, they're, that is a woman owned, native Hawaiian owned brand in Hawaii that um, I have with just great service. They're just great, cool people over there. Um, has always been a pleasure to like talk with them and their support staff if I ever needed to.
Boom. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You can kind of see it. And I, I just love like doing a little corner like that. I don't know why. It yeah. just like feels really it's a little, I don't know. It's foxy. Oh, oh yeah. Foxy. That's, a good, have, now that that's I, a good adjective. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I said it, I reminded myself of Five Nights at Freddy's. So in October, I've got to do some Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> nail art so I can see that movie um, in style. Oh, yeah. I love that the nail art can just be themed so well, too. Pretty yeah. Much oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm trying to think of, like, other things that I've, I really love Ace Attorney, um, the, the video games. And so, like, I've done, I've done, like, Apollo Justice nails before. Those are, and I think I use this heart, actually. Um, I love this. This little heart has gotten so much mileage out of this place. <laughs> um, it's just a great little stamp. Yeah, no, I've done, I have had some really fun autumn-based mm -hmm. pieces before, Halloween-based pieces. I, mm -hmm. I usually match them, you know, to the season a lot. Uh, there's there's something uh, like, you know, florals for spring. Yeah, <laughs> groundbreaking. Yeah. <laughs> groundbreaking, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just like a great... I don't know. It's just like it's it's a it's a great way to like express your vibes for like however mm -hmm. you're feeling. It's I think it's just like a really fun way to express myself. Um, but yeah, yeah, so that this is kind of the shape of what we're looking at. Um, wrong hand. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I just kind of need to go in for this hand. I I'm thought it would probably be more engaging to not have to do every single uh finger for y'all, but we can go back. Um. So this is pretty much the shape of like the look, but I'm gonna go back in with blue with that smaller, with that smaller um, dotting tool to make the flowers feel like silent princesses. Oh, um, Apocalypse says plus one to Halloween nail art, and then also yeah. can you do stamps or gradients with glittery polish? Um, so. Uh, it depends on the base. Um, so a jelly polish, no. Um, because it's a gel polish, what jelly polish does is because it's so um, transparent, the sponge will just uh, suck it up, basically. And so you'll only be left with the glitters and the, the oh, yeah. uh, you know, like those things for gradients. But you can still use you can use glitter polish as long as it has like a nail, like a, a normal base. Um, so like I do that. I've done that all the time with like Hollow Taco has their pretty, you know, they have hollow. Um, they have hollow polishes, whereas like they have little pieces of holographic like. I guess glitter. And so it it's got a rainbow effect to them. And so you can totally use those, but you just got to, yeah, the answer is yes, but you just can't do it with a jelly base um, that has like big chunks of glitter is usually what jelly bases have. Oh, like, uh, okay. kind okay. of a good example of that is like this top coat. Like, this is, this is just like a bunch of little pieces of, what's it called? Like, you know, just like some paper to yeah, put okay. polka dots on your on your just by just using a, a top coat and that will if you were to just use a sponge on it the only the you know you wouldn't get polish on there you'd only get the yeah. dots on there the little bits um, yeah yeah and and maniology does actually have glitter polishes that work for stamping but there it's very very fine glitter i don't know if you can see here but it is this the the gold I'm using does have a shimmer to it. Oh, cool. Um, okay. But I think it's very fine. I'm trying to see. Mm -hmm. It's a very fine glitter. Maybe if I open it, you can see better. Um. But yeah, but you see how like that it it's a very opaque base. Yeah. Yeah, like you're not. You're, so you pick up the color. So yeah, it just depends. Those are the great questions, mm -hmm. though. Okay. So. It is, we are 15 minutes to nine. Um, do you want to do like the last like top coat or? Yeah, absolutely. So okay. that's 
that's great. I'm glad we I stopped doing this hand. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna just finish up this one this one finger. Um, the last part is the easy part. Um, so we're gonna I'm just gonna go in one more time with this smaller guy. Thank you for the time check, by the way. I got so you know, caught up in doing nails. I know it's such a, it's such a time suck for sure. Um, you know, this is like a little too small. I think I'm gonna go back to the bigger one because I think it would be nicer that way. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, so I'm gonna go back in with this blue to try and give us the illusion of a silent princess. And if there's any other questions as I'm finishing this up, we can go ahead and I can start um, asking those, answering those um, before I put on our top coat, which is very important. A lot of people are very into this mani, very into maniology. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Yes. And, and doing nails over quarantine. Yeah. It's, it was it's just a great little relaxing hobby and so just so fun so expressive and just like a great yeah, this stamp thing yeah. is like blowing my mind still right it's so cool like you really you can do so much with it there is so much like just so many ways that you can be creative with it. Um, so I really love it. Emeralda would like to know how many stamp have. I know you showed your a couple of books, but what's yeah. the number? I don't you know, I don't actually have a number for any of my nail art stuff. Uh, but I would say it's probably close to forty or fifty for those. I say Maybe? the limit does not exist. The limit does not yeah, yeah. yeah. Um but <laughs> I know I have over 200 for sure because I'm ridiculous <laughs> oh, and, and also just like is... <laughs> oh go ahead go ahead I was just gonna say like anytime hollow Do taco drops anything I immediately get it so it's been real good for my bank account <laughs> <laughs> go ahead sorry what was the what was the thing oh Apocalypse would like to know if you need volunteers or more nails to practice on. Listen, I <laughs> no, I, anytime, just call me. Let, like it is, I love doing it. And I remember during the pandemic, I was like, I hate this so much because I want to practice on other people so bad. Um, so absolutely. Let me know. I, book me for weddings. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, no, genuinely. I love it. It's so fun. Um, and yeah, let me know like what you want, like what colors you want, what theme you want. I have so much stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna do top coats real fast. Um it's not not too much, not too much is going on here, but for stamping, I do two top coats. <laughs> Oh, um, okay. which you don't have to do but maniology has um a smudge free top coat and it's very easy for your stamps to smudge so i always 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 use the smudge free top coat and then my hollow taco super glossy taco top coat which is a mouthful um which the super glossy taco just like gives it this it just it just it just looks mm -hmm. so nice it's kind of like a very small detail thing but Something about top coats really makes your manicure like shine. I don't know what it is, but there's just like this, it just gives it this finished look that I love. So I'm just going to do this real fast. I don't know. And this particular top coat smells so nice. <laughs> love it. Oh, that's not something mm -hmm. you hear very often about nail polish. No, I know. I don't know. There's like some, I think there's, I don't know what they this is a very weird top coat. I've never, I think it's the only top coat I've ever heard of that does the smudge free thing. Um, that's great. And I'm, I'm wrapping that tip still. So you do have a lot of volunteers for 
Oh my gosh, I mean, please. Yes. Yeah, let me let me let me do a workshop at at the con. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so I don't know if I quite did the. I don't know if it quite looks like a silent princess, but like you know the. It's the the thoughts there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's inspired by you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is your take on a silent princess. Yeah, my take on a silent princess for sure. Um, so, I, you know, you kind of want to let that dry a little bit more. Um, you especially really want your your dots to dry. So I'm not even gonna do that right now. Otherwise, I am gonna mess them up. <laughs> so really let your flowers like when you dot let those dry for a good long time before you do it um give it maybe 10 minutes you know um put a show on uh because especially if like because I got a little overheated here with like my overhand like a uh, heavy handed with my dots um but yeah so I like to put it on but that's what all I would do I would just use a normal top coat for for that guy and so this this is when I glob it on. I like to have a nice thick glossy top oh, coat. Oh, you can okay. also do a matte top coat if you want. And those look great. Love a matte top coat. Oh. Um, and you want them to be quick drying. So um, this is what is this is going to protect your manicure. This is your first defense. Is your quick drying top coat? Don't ever skip this step. And I, you know, because a lot of people think that it won't, it won't dry as quickly, which is not true. Um, your, your, your nail polish dries slower than oh, your, okay. yeah, than your, your top coat. And so this is, yeah, this is where I'm like glob, glob. This is, <laughs> I get a little bit more messy with my um, top coat because I want it on there. Um, and you also still want to make sure you're doing that. Drop a matte tip. Um, hmm. Taking it. What is going on with this uh, pointer finger today? I don't know what it is. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, so um, always do this step. Don't skip it. Um, because that's, this is how you'll protect it from skip. Uh, ch this is how you'll protect your stuff from chipping. Uh, and it's how you will keep it from getting messed up as you go about your day, the day, oh, yeah. right? Okay. You know, so um, you still need to be careful for like that first day that you paint your nails because um, I think it's like, it takes like a day for the polish to fully dry or something. It's something like that. Oh, that's that doesn't wild. Mean you can't... Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's not that you don't have, you can't like, it's dry, but it's just like t a little tacky. Like it's not. Does that if that makes sense? Like, mm -hmm. it's soft almost. It hasn't hardened completely. Is is kind of what I'm trying to get at. Um, and because it hasn't hardened completely, it can be easy to get it, you know, smudged and messed up. But yeah, this really protects it from it. So still be careful, really careful that first day. Um, and if you want your mani to last longer, just be, just don't use your nails as a tool and try to use other things as tools. Like, you know, I always use a spoon when I open my, my cat's, uh, when I use, oh, open my cat's cans. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the food cans. The cat food cans. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or like a soda, like use a spoon, don't use your fingers or something, you know? Um, and that, if you do that, you're going to, you know, just being mindful of like what you're doing. If you have gloves while you're washing the dishes, that also helps. Um, mm -hmm. little things like that can just like keep it longer if you're worried about like longevity. Um, and your top coat, your top coat, that makes such a difference. And, and the wrapping the tip and you will, it'll, it'll stay a long time. But yeah. Hopefully, Whoa. hopefully that helps. And it's, you know, yeah. learned something today. Yeah, um, I learned so much. Oh, yay. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad. Um, yay. Please take a thank photo. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, I will take a photo. 
I'm not sure where I can put it. Um, maybe on our socials, but I'll send it to you. Oh, yeah. And send it to us, and Emerald will put it up. Um, we'll, we'll make sure it gets well, shared on socials. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for doing this, and thank you for everybody who was here and asking questions. Appreciate it. Yay! Yes, thank you, Yay, everyone. Can I see? Let me see. Oh, I mean, you can see mm-hmm. like the tiniest flower. Yay. <laughs> oh cute I love yeah. it <laughs> I still have to do the other the other side I got way too distracted same oh, but yeah hey, no don't you, worry Jessie. thank we'll you we'll have to I would love to have you come back and do like another themed one maybe oh maybe my gosh I would Halloween. love to <gasps> I would love to do some Halloweeny nails I have Ooh. tons of Halloweeny stamps <laughs> that'd be great Ooh. okay we're putting it I'm, writing it down okay 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 so <laughs> on thir- before we wrap up on thursday we have got a let's play coral island with prime um which <gasps> is a farm sim game on an enchanting island Ooh, also sounds very fun and then on like tuesday cozy. yeah super cozy and then um, on tuesday um we have a guided meditation and tips for mental health. Ooh, so that'll be fun. Oh, and then I think we are going to raid Geek GG, who is playing Zelda, which is perfect, <gasps> a perfect tie-in. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, okay. Well, thank you everyone for joining us and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye.